like to invite our chief guest and keynote speaker raghuraj madhav rajendra ji ias managing director mp power management co limited from government of madhya pradesh to enlighten us with how we can leverage technology and innovations for creating an efficient and reliable energy ecosystem let us have a huge round of applause to welcome our chief guest thank you uh, mr fasil यहाँ पर उपस्थित बिजली विभाग से एवं अन्य सभी महानुभाव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ए पी ए सी फॉर हैविंग ऑर्गेनाइज सच ए कॉन्क्लेव विथ स्पेसिफिक फोकस ऑन सस्टेनेबल एनर्जी एकोसिस्टम we are all in one way or the other connected with the energy ecosystem and trying to ensure that lives are energized because of our efforts if that is to be successful in the true sense of the term it is but natural that it has to be done in a sustainable manner because energizing cannot be for a fleeting moment energizing has to be sustainably there for all of us for our next generation for our children and our grandchildren and so on sustainability that way has multiple aspects to it one is the environmental sustainability that is very immediately obvious there is also this aspect of what is financially sustainable and there is the aspect of what is culturally sustainable for every bit of it when we talk about sustainability a sustainable ecosystem can perhaps start only from the starting point of sustainable thought our action can be sustainable only when the initial thought in the direction in which we are thinking is sustainable i'm sure like we all remember our uh, lessons in in our in our childhood like i'm sure like this line must have come across to you as told by the father of our nation that there is everything in this world that is necessary for your need but not for your greed this is what our father of the nation had to say about the kind of social construct that we should have in our minds when we are approaching the pressing questions of growth development energizing of lives and so on i suspect that with the years that have passed by after he had perhaps forwarded this thought the society the world has changed in a manner which kind of substantiates and reiterates or proves to be even of greater strength in favor of the statement that was made today uh, it said that we live in a uh, vuka kind of world like i'm sure like you have heard about this term v u c a that the world is now volatile uncertain ambiguous and complex adding to it it said it is exponentially vuka that is the change that is happening is exponential the productivity of human beings the productivity of this the productivity of society and i say productivity the efficiency as well as the effectiveness 
of human beings is increasing in an exponential manner. That means our ability to do good as well as our ability to cause harm, both are exponential. And with the changing world, we need to find solutions with this thought up front that the solution is going to be sustainable in all the different aspects that we have perhaps discussed and maybe other dimensions also are there in which the provision of energy needs to be sustainable. Now the question arises as to how we go about orienting ourselves to meeting such kind of a challenge. When we are discussing about a very volatile and uncertain world, it is but natural that we also very deeply think about the issue of energy security, energy justice, apart from the aspect of energy transition. Energy transition is very important and to achieve energy transition in a just justified, justifiable manner without, without rocking lives is very important and that is the kind of challenge that we are all uh, trying to face day in and day out. I uh, wish this workshop all the very best that you would all uh, try to deliberate on the multiple aspects of uh, sustainably achieving our perhaps shared vision of energizing lives. And as I believe uh, you would also appreciate that it is not just the energy transition, it is the energy justice aspect that is there which needs to be acknowledged and which needs to be taken care of. Multiple efforts are being made by the governments, the industry and all stakeholders to kind of address this issue in right earnest. In Madhya Pradesh, I'm sure I see many of my colleagues uh, in, the, in this room like who would very well appreciate that our demand for electricity is of a very unique kind in that it has a very uh, very steep increase during specific months of agri agriculture. It's almost a, a 5 gigawatt kind of increase that we have in the months of November, December and January where the rabi season happens. We perhaps need to take into account that such is our Lord profile and make specific provisions or make so solutions which pointedly addresses this issue. Already we are in the working space as far as feeder solarization is concerned because this is primarily agricultural load as I had already uh, suggested before you. Maybe uh, solar power in a decentralized manner would be the most economical, that is financially sustainable and the most environmentally sustainable also solution that could be given without having to augment our distribution infrastructure, it can be provided in a decentralized manner. One another factor that is going to be certainly of very high importance in uh, the times to come is that the solutions are bound to be decentralized. There was a mention about how consumers are turning into prosumers. So in a similar manner, the distribution company also might not just be restricted to distributing of power, it might have to 
manage distributed mechanisms of generation of power, that is, distributed mechanisms of, say, solar power, for instance. We might, we, I'm sure, like, um, there are other mechanisms, like uh, the time of the day tariff, which kind of acknowledges the differential content of power, like um, I'm sure everybody in this room appreciates this, that uh, unit of electricity at 12 o'clock in the noon and a unit of electricity at 6 o'clock in the morning. These are two different, these are two different um, uh, units and they are not the same. Like the kind of uh, generation that goes behind a unit of electricity at 6 a.m. in the morning or 6 p.m. in the evening is totally different from what it is at 12 o'clock. So time of day appreciation of the tariff and uh, the feudal solarization. Multiple aspects could be thought about whereby we can simultaneously push the frontiers as far as sustainability of different kinds are concerned. I uh, wish you all uh, the very best that your deliberations bring forward more aspects of sustainability as far as the energy ecosystem is concerned. And uh, each and every one of you, if you go back with more ideas on how to achieve a more sustainable energy ecosystem, I believe this uh, workshop would be uh, re reaching its uh, point of success. I wish the organizers all the very best and uh, wish you all uh, Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your inspiring words. Would like to request Sangmitra Mohanty, co-founder co and director, Epic News Network, to come on stage and give memento to our chief guest and keynote speaker, Raghuraj Madhav Rajendra, IAS Managing Director, MP Power Management, Co-Limited, Government of Madhya Pradesh, for addressing us with his golden words and inspiring all of us about the sustainable energy. Thank you so much, sir.